Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days, okay, from the date that you watch it, if this reading is for you, all right? So, we're just going to see what comes up. Spiritual love, Lily. So we have a spiritual love here. What do we have for Aries? Okay, we have two. One is reversed and then one is upright. Good luck! Woohoo! It's reversed. Well, you may be experiencing bad luck. I mean, I can't. I'm. I can be like everybody else, and uh, good luck. You know, this is great. It's perfect. It's peachy. It's unicorns. It's rainbows, and uh, yeah. It's not reality, though. It's not. Take a look around. Is it rainbows? Is it unicorns? It's not. You may be going through a period of bad luck, okay? Right now, okay? Things may not be... You may not be hitting the target in some way. It's kind of like when you're playing horseshoes, right? And you miss the target. But practice makes perfect, right? That's the truth. So you may be going through a period of bad luck, but you know, the more you do it, the better you get. Lion, it's time to act. It's time to take action. So if you are experiencing bad luck, then you, there's something that you need to do. You know, it's interesting that I said the more, you, the more you do it, the better you get. Practice makes perfect, right? So, you know, there's something that you need to do. Okay, there's time to take action right now. Listen to your intuition. This may have to do with a relationship. It may have to do with a love connection. Of some, It may. It may. There's action that needs to be taken. You may be going through a, something where you're just not quite there yet. You know, because, you know, I, I don't know how many of you have played horseshoes before, but I've played a time or two. And uh, it takes practice. It's kind of like bowling. Right? Yeah, sometimes you get lucky, some, you know, but the better, the more, once you learn the skills, you know, you get better and better and better and better once you learn, you know, how to throw it and how to do it, you know. So there's something that you need to take action on right now. Maybe you've had bad luck in love. Maybe you've been unlucky in love. Maybe you haven't. Maybe you're going through a period right now where you're just, something is off. Maybe something is just a little tiny bit off, right? Because once you get in that right spot and you get it right, you know, you, you hit the target. But anyhow, it's time to take action right now, right now, okay? You need to perfect it. You need to perfect something. Hmm. Maybe where you're standing. <laughs> I'm picturing picturing the whole the game, you know, the horseshoe the horseshoe game. When I was growing up, we had a horseshoe pit out back, so I did I did get I did get pretty good at playing the game. Um, what do we have for Aries? Block them. So there is somebody that you need to block. That's a clear message. Maybe it's a love that didn't work out. I mean, sometimes you to move on, you know, you got to block them. So people don't, they're like, oh no, we can keep being friends. No, that's going to hold you back for the rest of your life. Anyhow, 
Whatever. Bad timing. Bad timing. So the timing. There's something about bad timing here. <clears throat> they have done this before and they will continue to do so. So you're dealing with somebody, and it could be Leo, it does not have to be, it can be anybody. Um, block them, they have done this before and they will continue to do so. They have no intentions of changing whatsoever. Something about where you're standing, you know, because I saw that. It's like you need to change your stance. You need to, you may need to defend yourself. Stand in a different position. Take a different position. Hmm. What do we have? Whoops. For Aries. It's, what is block them? What is this block them? King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is a water sign energy who, or somebody that has a lot of water in their chart. This is somebody that does not have good intentions. This is somebody that is very secretive, emotionally withdrawn, um, charming, sweet, says all the right words. This may be a cheater. This is somebody that it could be narcissistic, very um, conniving, calculating. Um, you may even use emotional manipulation, emotional blackmail to get their way, cry or withdraw. This may be somebody that's literally emotionally withdrawn. They may not communicate when they don't get their way. They may give their, give the silent treatment. Um, this may be somebody that I, I want to say this person keeps a lot of secrets, keeps a lot of, um, people in their circle as well. I feel like this person, um, I feel like they talk a really good talk, but they're literally emotionally unavailable. Maybe they won't commit or they are, um, insulting in some way. This person, um, may think that they're that they're better they may think that you know they're very intuitive this person may come across as somebody that you know feels like they're in a position of authority they feel they they act on their emotions they feel they feel like they're the best it feels like it's a narcissistic energy it feels like this is somebody that uses emotions. They they use emotions as a way to manipulate, um, to manipulate other people. This person is very secretive. They're very fluid. They're all over the place. Very wishy washy. May also be very clingy. Very needy. This is a water sign energy. It is somebody that is extremely emotional or extremely emotionally withdrawn. It goes, it can go both ways at any time. This person may be at one point, you know, completely silent, not communicating, uh, can't communicate, you know, won't communicate, very secretive, and at other times, very clingy, very needy. It's like a roller coaster. You know, I feel like you need to block this person. I feel like this person plays on your emotions. You know, they use their emotions to get their way. Now, this could be a friend, a family member, a lover, um, a boss. Whoever this person is, this person does not have good intentions. They, they're, they're thinking about themselves. That's all they think about is themselves. Bad timing. Two of pentacles reversed. Two of pentacles reversed is upheaval, chaos, overly committed to something. This is um, a player. You've got a player here playing games, going back and forth. Somebody may be dealing with someone from their past. They haven't quite given it up yet. They're still going back and forth with someone from their past. Um, still holding on. There could be a financial mess here as well or a financial loss. Um, 
There's a need to master emotions. You need to master your emotions. You need to let something go to have balance in your life. Going back and forth with this person is only going to continue to cause chaos and upheaval. Okay, so the timing is off. This is... Um, a need for balance, a need to let something go, a need to make a choice. You can't keep with having things up in the air. You can't keep going back and forth. You need balance. You need balance. The timing is off. You need to let this go. There's something you need to let. And it's something, it's interesting that I said something about your stance because this is one leg up in the air. You need to make a stand. You need to take a stand. You need to stand up straight. You need to make some sort of judgment call as far as I'm concerned. You need to stop playing games. You need to... There's a fall here. There's a fall. Some of you could be dealing with, I think I already said, Scor I said Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. When I looked at this, I saw Scorpio. Um, but it doesn't have to be a Scorpio. It could be anybody, really. But this is somebody that doesn't have good intentions. They're not, their heart is not in it. They're not in it for love. They don't care. They don't care. All right. This may be a one-sided situation. There could be a fall. There could be a fall from power. There could be a fall out. Something could be falling apart. Queen of Wands reverse. This may be this may be causing you to be frustrated. You may be angry, upset. Uh, uh, this is unmanageable. Something is unmanageable. You can't force it. You can't force it to come together. You can't force it to work. And there may be somebody else that is trying to force something if it's not you. Could be another fire sign, in particular a Leo. It doesn't have to be a Leo, but it could be. Um... This could also be your energy. There's a need for balance. There's a need to make a choice. There's a need to take a stand. There's a need to face your fears. There's a need to let go of control. Let go of control. There's somebody here that is very boastful as well. They're very driven by desires. They're unstable. They're insecure. They... Uh, are very very needy there's somebody here that needs it's like they can't take care of themselves they're all over the place they are you need to block somebody for damn sure you need to master your emotions you need to take a stand do not let yourself be manipulated okay feels like you're being manipulated in some way Some of you may be feeling burnt out by a situation as well. There's something going down, okay? There's infertility here. There's blocked blessings. Somebody's blocking their own blessings by focusing on some sort of game or playing or very competitive. There may be somebody here that is overly competitive. They've bitten off more than they can chew. They're trying to do too much. They're going overboard. Somebody's going overboard. They're missing something. They're too focused. We may have somebody here that's focused on revenge. They're focused on um, malice. We may have somebody here that is very malicious. This person lies. They may find themselves in a predicament, okay? There's a lack of growth. There's infertility here. Something may be falling down or coming down. There's somebody here that may be doing something evil as well. And it what goes around comes around. What goes around comes around. So if somebody has done something evil, they've done something malicious, you know, and they thought that they were going to get away with it, you know, the timing's been off. You know, and what goes around comes around. Just saying. There's somebody here that has done something, I want to say malicious, and it's coming back to... To bite them. It's going to bite them. It is definitely going to bite them. Ah. There's somebody here that is very forceful and they're causing chaos, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. And they, it feels like they think that they'll never, not. maybe they don't believe in karma or they don't believe that, 
you know, they'll ever be brought down or that it will ever come down. It's about to come down, whatever this is. I wouldn't try to force anything. You need to let go of control. You need to let go of something that you are holding on to to have balance. You can't have both. You can't have both. You have to make a choice. Whatever that means. They have done this before and they will continue to do so. Now, somebody could be dealing with another woman or another man as well. They could be hiding it. Something could be hidden. There's jealousy here as well. There's upheaval. There's chaos. Just saying. It's time to take action. You need to take action. You need to take action. There is somebody in your energy that is dark. Pure evil. They have done this before and they will continue to do so. Page of Swords reverse. There's definitely somebody here that is very immature, very childish. This is an enemy disguised as a friend. This could be a stalker, a spy. Um, somebody that, you know, has trouble communicating, especially communicating the truth. They don't communicate the truth. There's lies here. An instigator of some sort. This is somebody that is a troublemaker. They act like a child. They lie. You definitely have a liar here. There is a liar here. This person is causing confusion. Um, they may be saying something. There's malice. Somebody may be talking behind somebody's back as well. This is very childish, immature behavior. And there's communication issues here. There may be somebody that clams up when, you know, when, when they get caught doing something or they don't want to answer the questions or whatever. They just clam up or they use manipulation or insults or something to get their way. There's definitely somebody here that is lying and there's an enemy. There's an either an enemy at the gate or there's an enemy disguised as a friend. There's a troublemaker here and there's somebody here that doesn't communicate the truth. Okay, they don't communicate the truth. They're very conniving. They're very, um, this is like a trickster of some sort. And there's dishonesty. There's a need for you to be honest with yourself. You need to sever ties. There's somebody here that you need to block. I would say be prepared for some trouble. A message is coming that you do not want to hear. This may have to do with a child. It may have to do with a woman. It may have to do with a man. It may have to do with a couple. Okay? There's something that is coming out. This is a message that you don't want to hear. This is somebody that... Uh, doesn't care who they hurt. They're only thinking about themselves. They're very, very selfish. Now, this, like I said, this could be a child or somebody. This is just super, super, super immature. And you can be an old man or woman and still be immature with the mind of a child, you know. Um... I would say that you need to expect some conflict, okay? There's conflict here. There's jealousy. There's definitely jealousy. And there's somebody involved that's not getting their way. They're not getting their way. And they're going to cause an uproar. They're going to cause chaos because this person likes to get their way. And if it's not... Or there could be like a silent treatment. It could go that way. It could go both ways. It's back and forth. It's like one minute it's the silent treatment and the next minute it's obnoxious. Block them. You don't need that energy in your life. I mean, come on now. Gone. What do we have for Aries? Nine of Swords. Oh my God. Okay, this is stressful. This is, there could be some sort of emergency. Maybe it's even a medical emergency. I don't know. This is like an emergency of some sort, as far as I'm concerned. Oh my God, this is stressful. There's pills. 
we have a clock, we have a timing, the timing, something about timing, the alarm bell going off. There could be a medical issue. This is sad. This is, uh, I don't know, we got something with purple hair here. Somebody has purple hair may have something to do with this. Um, covering the eyes oh my god i can't believe this how am i going to deal with this this is extremely stressful if you are dealing with something that is extremely stressful you need to maybe you need to get help or you need to acknowledge the truth you can't deny it maybe you need to face your fears maybe you need to uh take action it is time to act there's somebody in your life that is causing you a lot of stress. May have something to do with a child. May have something to do with a relationship between mother and child. Um, oh my God, this is extremely stressful. Depressing. Bad news. A message of conflict. There's somebody here that is instigating something. They're initiating something. They're doing something malicious and it's because they're miserable i mean misery loves company it's just the way it is i do have the tower in reversed on the bottom that's an unavoidable loss it's been avoided up until now you can't avoid this this is a major disruption that has been avoided you can't continue to avoid this it's just gonna it's just gonna hurt worse if you do remember i said a while back there's gonna be a fall this could be extremes. Now, there could be somebody here that is extremely unhealthy. There could be health problems. There could be a fight. There could be a painful change. This is something that is happening They maybe that you never saw coming. Okay, it is action time. You have the power to change your luck if you take action and be honest with yourself about this situation that is causing you so much stress. There is somebody in your life that is causing problems and you have been ignoring it. And you need to stop ignoring it and block them so that you can have peace and harmony and Start your healing process, whatever this is. But then a lot of time there's people that don't want to even admit that they have to heal. And then it just, and this is where things, you know, explode, you know, because it just gets ignored and ignored and ignored and ignored until the universe steps in and causes this disruption that is more uncomfortable than you even imagined because you ignored it. Oh my God, there is news here. This is probably news that you don't want to hear. It probably may be stressful, and I'm sorry to say that. There is a person in your life that you are not blocking. It's like, no, we can still, we can still work this out. There's nothing practical here. Nothing. What do we have for Aries? You're going to be dealing with something very disruptive. You are. And you can't avoid it. That need. It's, I don't know if it's an emergent situation. It's kind of like nine one one, right? Anyhow, no place like home. This may have to do with your foundation. It may have to do with your home, where you live. Maybe it's time to go. Maybe you're in a situation that you don't want to be in. You know, why do people stay in situations that are not home? If it's not home, get the hell out of there. I mean, it may be an, not an easy transition, but it's worth it. No place like home. Authenticity. Coming home to yourself. Feeling at home. Arriving at a place where you just fit. <laughs> it's kind of like the horseshoe. Because a horseshoe has to go around the ring, right? It has to fit. Anyhow, being comfortable in your own skin. Home feels safe and secure. It's a comfortable place to rest and create. A place that is known and you can call yours. This ca card signals that your ability to trust yourself, and you haven't been, to trust yourself and feel at home in your own skin is beginning to solidify as you claim your dignity and integrity. Aspects of yourself no one can take away from you. 
You know who you are. You hold your head held. You hold your head high, yet with neither pride nor humility. Instead, you stand as the observer, seeing through the eyes of your soul. This puts you in a position of power and strength. Authenticity is your home. You are safe here in the house of your spirit and spirit. This spiritual love has to do with you, has to do with yourself. People get this misconception that spiritual love is with another person. That's a lie. Lovers, friends, and companion animals are at home in your life right now. You are in sync and, f and full of love, and you can be secure in the knowledge that is reciprocated. Relationships elicit a sense of emotional safety, comfort, and the best aspects of familiarity now. Be home in this relationship. Together, you add to the love of the world. If you're not in a relationship that feels like home, you need to seek the relationship that feels like home. Maybe something is off and you can fix it. I mean, you may be able to fix it. I don't know. When you act in an authentic way, you command the world to reflect back to you exactly what is in your highest good. Your business choices and the investments you make and the creative projects you immerse yourself in are powerfully on point. Why? Because when you are fully yourself, radically accepting everything in your journey to date, both the successes and failures, you will see the divinity in all things. Abundance is a natural progression when you experience this kind of authenticity. And somebody, maybe you've been lying to yourself about a partnership with somebody that's emotionally unavailable. Lying to yourself about a partnership with somebody that's emotionally unavailable, you know, maybe it's just not meant to be. Maybe it's time to go home to something that is more authentically true to you. Okay. So anyhow, let's get one of these. What do we have for Aries? It's time for you to take action. Face your fears. Okay. Be honest with yourself. I feel like there's somebody here that you do need to block. I think it's a water sign energy that you've been going back and forth with. And I think it's causing you a lot of stress because deep down inside of you, you know that you can't trust this person. The hand fool, the fool's wisdom, keep it simple. So this is too much. It's kind of like, this is kind of like the two of pentacles. And we got to fall here. This is messy. This is a mess. You have too much, okay? You need to take some of this off of your plate. I think that you're frustrated. You're burnt out. You're stressed out. You're worried. You're in a situation that is blocking your blessings. This is too much. It's. I think that you, you just want peace. And I think that in order to find peace, you got to make a choice. Even things out a little bit. Anyhow, Aries, I would say there's a fall and this could be a crash. Okay, this could literally be a crash of some sort. Good luck.